and wintry weather sticking around for millions of Americans all the way from the Rockies to the East Coast. And yes, it is April 5th. Uh, we are watching Weather Underground. I'm Alex Wilson. It's truly unbelievable. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Bettis. Yeah, we're feeling you, folks. Uh, you know, even in the south, places like Atlanta and seasonally cool air uh, mm -hmm. sinking all the way down through the southern plains, Birmingham as well. We're expecting record low temperatures to be shattered all weekend long. We're going to break those down for you, those numbers. Out. I think uh, in everyone in D.C. is thinking flowers, not snow showers. Right. And exactly. of the cherry blossom exactly. variety. Uh, Kentucky, we just talked about the Louisville area, Lexington, uh, Evansville, Indiana. These are locations that have not been dealing with winter storm conditions in April. April, at least in the last decade, uh, Tom looked it up, and uh, as far back as 2005, we hadn't had a winter storm watch issued across this region. Louisville, you've got it uh, right now, and we're watching tomorrow into Saturday for that possibility of snow, generally coming down during the overnight, very early morning hours of your Saturday. So one of the positives is really not going to be out there in many cases. Lexington, you could pick up two to three inches, but 64, 75, I anticipate things will stay just wet on those roadways. Louisville talking an inch or less. So this should not be an impactful system on those big highways. Uh, Paducah, Kentucky, we get you tomorrow into Saturday morning. Now we've got rain for you. Uh, temperatures, they're going to be cold as we get into early Saturday. At least, Mike, staying close enough to that freezing mark that we're not looking at a real deep chill like we yeah. could see in other areas. Oh, some places yeah. will be absolutely yeah. chilled to the bone, right? One of those places. Let's break down the ingredients, the timing, everything that we'll be watching as we head into our Friday. Low levels of shear, medium medium lift and moisture. It's instability that's going to be high as we've got Gulf of Mexico moisture. We've got uh, daytime heating and that's going to allow for those storms to fire across the region. Watch as we start things off at midnight. We get you into tomorrow morning. A few isolated showers possible across parts of eastern Texas into Louisiana. By the afternoon, any of that steady heavy rain focused over Arkansas, we'll see those showers and thunderstorms extend down into parts of Mississippi into Louisiana, even eastern Texas as we go through the evening. Oh, Overnight, we'll be watching parts of Alabama. So uh, early Saturday morning, most likely while you're sleeping, could be a bit iffy for you at times. Less of a chance of severe weather into Alabama. The best zone. Again, I'll show you the drought in just a moment, and you'll see the places that are going to get some of the biggest rainfall totals aren't necessarily the areas that need it across parts of the West. There's our rainfall. Uh, so Mike gave you the setup, the day-by-day -day timing. Three to five-plus inches there up into that northwest uh, coastal region of California, as well as the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, that snowfall elevation going to be very very, very high. So a lot of the region will be up against the snow or the rain rather than the snow. Here's where we have moderate or worse drought. Uh, moderate drought, those areas in the orange, 13% of the state. But take a look. Some of those areas where I just highlighted the biggest rainfall totals will be coming are the areas that aren't dealing with any drought at all. So that's why we are concerned about that possibility for flooding, perhaps mudslides, because these are locations that don't need the drought. Now, where the moderate drought has expanded, bring in Dr. Erica Navarro because, you know, we're gearing up for the new hurricane season. A lot of people a little stressed or at least sure. concerned and rightful cast today to discuss. Uh, we'll wait on the others, but at least this one, the first kind of guide or, or uh, you know, anticipate. Print in their forecast was accumulated cyclone energy, which basically takes into account how strong hurricanes are, how long they last. And that number was elevated do you anticipate the other forecast? Do you think they'll follow suit and, and things that you look at? I mean, this is yeah. really an area of your expertise. Do you look at this and think this is this is fairly right on? Yeah, you know, if none make landfall, it's still an above average season, but perhaps not an above average impact. Right, right. yeah. Um, is this similar to what we looked like last year at this time? Neutral phase of the ENSO, this yeah. is what can happen. We can have active seasons. Yes. Yeah. Um, is a potential. We really look at these things to, you know, kind of get people thinking, get in that mindset, right. get ready to prepare. I think this helps, but do you think perhaps now the fact that we have really get it in people's heads maybe now to... Uh, and just a reminder, this forecast is not a forecast for any particular landfalls. Mm -hmm. It's just a forecast yeah. for... We can't forecast landfall skill hardly a week out, no. let alone months out. So, right. so as we've talked about, you could have technically a season with one hurricane, but if it's one major hurricane that strikes land, then it's an impact that season. Dr. Navarro, thank you so much. Thanks. All right, stick around. A lot more to come here on Weather Underground. Three different snow...
I almost forgot about that whole first hour yeah, we did. It went so fast. It did. It was so much fun. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Alex Wilson here with Mike Bettis. We've got wintry weather sticking around for millions of Americans from the Rockies all the way to the East Coast. You'd expect Rockies in April. Yeah. Wouldn't necessarily expect Mid-Atlantic. Catch your breath, in yeah. essence, because here's what's going to happen for us here. We're going to talk about unseasonably cold weather. We're going to talk about record low temperatures, and we're going to talk about that snow. So let's get right to it, show you what's going on, especially the time. All right. Uh, you know, a place uh, like Louisville, Kentucky, looked at them. They haven't been under a winter storm watch since 2005. That's when we began uh, seeing those uh, note uh, uh, records keeping uh, oh, that's warranted that winter storm watch from the National Weather Service. The good news is it's coming down during the overnight hours where a lot of you won't be out on the roads. More good news, at least if you don't want to deal with the effects of the snow, we're talking an inch or less. So uh, I-64 is going to be no problem. 65, no problem. 71, even Lexington where we could see one to two inches. Uh, don't anticipate any trouble out there on the roads. You know, Mike, this is that kind of snow that's going to hit the pavement and just melt. Melt right away. That's yeah. good for travel. That's yeah. for sure. So don't worry too much about that. Hey, we know that we're going to get Brought the wind in a big way. We thank you so much for staying with us here on Weather Underground. I'm Alex Wilson. We're with you until 9 o'clock to give you the very latest on Winter Storm Riley. And we've got crews all across the region monitoring this storm. Meteorologist Chris want to get the very latest uh, on Winter Storm Quinn. And, and Tom Nizzle, you know, we talk about a, a significant winter component with this. We have seen some hefty snowfall totals, to say the least, and it's that heavy, wet snow. It's amazing. And, you know, we cover weather from coast to coast on a national scale and we can't forget about what's going on in the west it's up and down the northeast coastline thanks for staying with us here on weather underground i'm alex wilson we are with you until nine o'clock eastern to bring you the very latest on winter storm riley we've got crews across the field and here in studio monitoring this storm meteorologists all of this of course from winter storm riley some of the snowfall totals downright impressive but we've got another game in town another named winter storm this one out west and it's winter storm quinn well, I'll tell you what, we cover weather on a national yep. scale, and both coasts are getting hammered right now. Winter Storm Quinn is this Friday, weather underground. I'm Alex Wilson. We're with you until 9 o'clock Eastern to bring you the very latest on Winter Storm Riley. We've got crews across the region.